There are numerous myths that um, about AI that that impact the way we think about it. I think the biggest is that um, all areas of human activity would benefit from the use of AI, which I don't think is true. Uh, the other harmful myth less spoken about is the, what has been referred to as the myth of the clean tech. I think we often tend to think about um, AI as something disembodied and, and immaterial, while in reality, it relies very heavily on the physical world in many respects. So on the minerals it, um, it uses for, for building the uh, computation systems for um, the, the coal gas that it consumes and also the um, uh, often undervalued and underpaid human labor. I think the most important question in AI ethics right now has to do with the actual role the AI ethics should play. Um, there's a legitimate concern about ethics, AI ethics uh, being used as a smoke screen or as a window dressing. Um, I agree that, that AI ethics should never be an alternative to regulation or a way as to escape regulation. Uh, at the same time, AI ethics cannot be limited to creating general guidelines and um, lists of principles. So it is crucial that AI ethics are not only debated, but also done in practice. Academia and research institutions have a key role to play in the implementation of AI ethics and making ethical principles operational. I think what is currently still missing is, a, in many cases, is a proper is proper ethics oversight of all individual research and innovation uh, projects. We need a system of um, research ethics committees like that we know uh, from the field of medicine. Uh, medical research, where research with humans is carried out. Um, without such a system, it will be hard to ensure that, uh, um, that the ethical principles are followed in practice. In my opinion, it is the question of drawing red lines. Um, defining things that should not be done using AI under no circumstances, because the very idea violates uh, human dignity. These should include uh, research on and use of autonomous weapon systems, for example, citizen scoring as it happens in China, but also large automated identification of people by means of facial recognition. For me, it is very simple. Uh, people have the right to participate in decisions and processes that affect them. I also think that the inclusion of, uh, of civil society significantly improves the quality of the AI ethics debate and also the AI systems and products. The widespread use of AI can change how we do things, including how we relate and communicate with one another. But the truth is that we are all participating in a huge experiment and only time will tell what the impacts and, the, and side effects are.